I'm hitting up the whole city, man. Hey, the people that live in my city from Oklahoma, man, y'all gonna get one of these. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna get one of these. So we flooding the whole city with it. Let's get it. That cardio, they used to stay over here. Yeah, they used to stay over here. See, a lot of this stuff is vacant. We showing people how to make money, you know? We showing people how to make money. We did all in bars, I think I won't make it this far. Life filled with broken scars. Where I'm from, my city get ugly. Where it's cold in the summer, but sunny. Where your homie back door you for money. When you going through pain, you said muddy. Baby, stop with that cap, you don't love me. You just only around for my money. In the day I walk, go run up 50k. Nurse boost in the crib, took it all away. I won't fuck on you, I got expensive taste. Ain't trying to keep up, I'm not in the race. I done lost my bro, didn't kill my brother. Let no female besides my mother. Then toes her body, I was raised in a gutter. What's going on, y'all? This your boy, Good Life Johnson, and I'm back with another video. All right, y'all, so let's get right into it. I'm about to go and open up these packages that just came in. I have four of them. One for my mama and three for me. But let me say this real quick, though, man. I feel sorry for the people that's still passing up on this easy opportunity, this easy mailbox opportunity. A lot of people been watching me for the past two years, still on the sidelines, still, you know, on the fence, like, oh, I don't know if it's real. Should I do it? Should I, you know, how long is it going to last? You know, all that type of stuff. Y'all been seeing me do this for two years straight, opening up packages, going to the bank, cashing the checks or whatever, going out, passing out fly, whatever I'm doing, you know, all the stuff that I'm doing that I show y'all, y'all been seeing me. And what's even crazier, man, is the fact that this is during tax season. You know, a lot of people are gonna repeat the same cycle that they've been doing for the past five plus years. You know, they get their income tax money, they go blow it, they're gonna go on a shopping spree, oh, I need these clothes, I need these shoes. I need to buy this, I need to buy that, you know. And then come, you know, May, June, July, they're back struggling again. They're back living paycheck to paycheck again. And they're asking people for help. Hey, can you help me out? Can you loan me some money? Oh, nobody want to help me. Oh, you know, this and that. And it's like when you had the money, you didn't even take the time out to think about investing. You just went to go blow your money. So I ain't gonna lie, man. I used to do the same thing, man. I used to get my income tax money. I used to blow that, man. Like, I used to blow through that real quick, man. Like, yeah, buying the new shoes, taking a trip, you know, buying stuff for my car at that time. Uh, I was just blowing my money, man, blowing my money. And then finally, you know, it took about a couple years, well, about three or four years for me to say, okay, it's time to invest, man. I can't keep on living the same lifestyle where I'm balling during tax season, but then throughout the whole year, the rest of the year, I'm pretty much broke. I'm struggling. I'm living paycheck to paycheck. I couldn't keep on living that lifestyle, man. So. I invested my money and the rest is history. Now I'm able to keep money flowing in, coming in like clockwork, you know, because I invested my money into different businesses or whatever. So that's why it's kind of shocking to me, you know, from the simple fact that it's a lot of people that's passing up on opportunity. When opportunity is presented to me, man, I'm all in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm all in, let's get it. If I can invest my money and potentially make my money back, I'm all in, you know? Now I'm not saying this is guaranteed money, of course not. You gotta put the work in, you gotta grind. Speaking of that, I'm also gonna show you the behind the scenes of the, you know, the grind. The stuff that I've been doing that is allowing me to keep on receiving checks in the mail, cash in the mail, and stuff like that, man. Like, and like I always tell people, man, you can't cheat the grind, man. You can't cheat the grind. There's no way around it. But with that being said, I'm just gonna open up these packages and see what came in real quick. This first one is from my mama. Let's see what she got. And like I said, my mama's, she's consistent with it. She's consistent with it, so she's gonna keep on reaping the benefits. So let's see what she got real quick. Let's see. Okay, $300 check. All right, so she got a $300 check. You see her name, Angela Starr. All right, so these next three is mine. So let's go ahead and get these open. Got all right, we got a check for one thousand one hundred and ten dollars. See the name Eric Johnson, one thousand one ten. Okay, we got another check. Okay, let's see, uh. 1150 all right so $1,150 check 
Just came in. So we got some cash that just came in. Right, let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 200. All right, $200 just came in, cash money. It's going to add everything together. Let's see how much we made today. Let me see. All right, so my mom's, hers was $300. 300 plus 1,000, 150. Plus 1,110 plus 200. All right, so the total profit for today is $2,760. All right, 2,760. And like I said, I'm about to head off to the bank and then uh, I'm gonna show y'all the behind the scenes of you know the different stuff I'll be doing that is allowing me to consistently make this money. Cause people always keep asking, man, like, how is he making all this money every week? What's the secret? It's simple, man. Whoever stays consistent the longest is gonna make the most money. There's nothing more to it. Let's roll out. How you doing? How you yeah, I just want to cash those two checks. But yeah, another thing that I do uh, when I come to the banks is I leave one of these behind, a drop card. You know, because obviously people that's coming to the bank, they got you know some type of money, right? So you know, so I leave one of these behind. They see it and check it out. Oh, earn 500 bucks a week, earn thousand dollars a week, whatever, whatever. They check out the website and then you know they do a little research and then they sign up. So. All right, you too, appreciate it. So yeah, uh, so yeah, like I said, simple stuff, man. Just grab this drop card, just like this, stick it in, bam. Close it up, put it back in there. Let me count this money real quick, make sure everything's in. All right, here we go, let's see. So as y'all can see right here, the money is still coming through. No problem, still can cast the checks. Still can cast the checks, no problem. Let me count this real quick before I roll down. Let me count this. All right, so we back, all the money is in there. So like I said, I got the drop card in here. All I gotta do is put it inside. Put it back where it goes. And then the car right behind me is gonna see, and they go like, damn, oh, $100? And of course, I say, oh no, this is not real. And they're gonna check out the, the opportunity. So they're gonna be thinking like, dang, this dude left $100 in here. It's always, I wish I could see the reaction. I'm looking back, trying to see. I wish I had a camera inside that car where I could see their reaction and stuff. Uh, I wish I could, man. I bet, I bet it's some funny stuff, especially if they got people inside their car with them, or they got like some friends or family members with them or something. I bet they be just dying laughing, man. All right, y'all. So with that being said, if you're ready to join this opportunity, go ahead and click the link down below this video. Go ahead and get started. It's only fifty dollars to join, and. uh you already know what it is, man. It's Team Good Life. Go out into the top of the team. Success is the only option. And you already know, man. It's GLOE. It's Good Life over everything, y'all. Let's get this money, man. I'm out. I'm side of town and say, okay, nobody signed up. No, keep it going. I'm hitting up the whole city, man. Hey, people that live in my city from Oklahoma, man, y'all gonna get one of these. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna get one of these. So we flooding the whole city with it. Let's get it. And they ask me, is he doing okay? I'm like, no, but I'm still gone. And my feelings fighting demons, I can't let it take me over. No, no. Plus, I know I'm getting older. Going through these days, you won't ever catch me sober. See, you already got there to see, look. Somebody put that business card right here. So, somebody already trying to, you know, get some, uh, get some business as well. But so we're going to put that on top. Ours is going to stand, ours stands up. We got the yellow. So, see right now. People are just not getting off of work. See, they got a car right here. Let's go back this way, though. They got a car already in the door. Let me see. 
Got these bitches want a premium on a poster. Ride with my windows up, tenant. Waiting for the day that me and King gon' fuck up all these men. He can't come around cause he's suspension. I can't lose my faith cause I done seen a lot through all these trends. Ask him, is he doing okay? I'm like, nah, but I'm still going. And my feelings fighting demons, I can't let it take me over, nah, nah. Plus, I know I'm getting older. Going through these days, you won't ever catch me sober. Feeling like nobody knowing how I'm living. That's the reason uh, I ain't talking. Hey, man, I just, a lot of people that grew up over here, man. That's one of my partners at DK. Marcus, if y'all watching this, man, shout out to Marcus, Brene, Quentin, the cardio. They used to stay over here. Yeah, they used to stay over here. You know what I'm saying? Who else used to stay over here in this area? I think, uh, man, there have been so many people, man. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody that used to uh, stay over here. Now this shit made me feel like Marvin Gaye. George Michael back in 88. It's showing love, don't bad. kill me. I love my city, I can't stay away. They let me stop, but bitch, I made a way. To give a fuck about what I hate to say. You can watch some paper plates. You yeah, this one long strip right here. It's nothing but apartments. So we're gonna hit those up over there too. I don't know, let's see. Let's see if these are vacant. I don't know yet. Let's hit these up. Oh, the cat wanna come grind with us. You wanna grind with us? Let me see. Oh yeah, get these up. Let me see. See, a lot of this stuff is vacant. Crazy stuff going on over here, but let's see this over here. Right. Okay, don't tell me this cat gonna follow us everywhere. You gonna follow us? Okay. Yeah, it's, dang. Yeah, that whole thing been shattered up. Glass is shattered. Glass everywhere. Follow behind you. Oh, I take it, I take it. so far you want to hear the rest of these or you think most of them is vacant or closed off or what most of them vacant all right let's go around one more let's go around this side real quick yeah we about to go see over here see that's all look that's boarded up worst thing you want to do is pass your flyers out and it's a whole bunch of vacant apartments everywhere nobody lives there so It's all boarded up, glass, you know, knocked out and stuff. Go ahead. Let's 
saying? See? So, yeah, man, like... But that's that's what happens when you're on a certain side of town. Like, this is what you're gonna get on a certain side of town. So, you gotta just be aware of that. Make sure uh, you ain't just wasting your flyers and stuff. So we about to about to roll out from here. So even up there. Yeah, we about to head with it's still as y'all see this is one long strip this car liar wood right here it's one long strip all right so we back at it again <laughs> other way other way straight on straight on so yeah, pretty much we ran out of time uh yesterday Last night it kind of got dark. So we uh, back at it again today. Like I said, we're hitting up every every apartment complex. I watch your step, man. They got all kind of boo boo over here. But yeah, uh, as you can see around, man, it's a lot of apartment complexes in this one area. So we just hitting them all up. There you go. That's why, that's why I don't want to uh, put it down. The wind will blow it. Dang, these ain't got no clips. Yeah, none of these got clips. Let's see. All right, here we go. All right. Let's go uh, straight across. Some of these apartment complexes, some of these buildings. So I don't even know. I'm mean, gonna hit up a different apartment complex because a lot of these. Look at this welcome. Yeah, see a lot of these, man. I don't know. They might be vacant. Here, hit these last two up. I don't know, let's see. Some of these might be vacant though. Let me see. Let's go down here. Yeah, I don't know. What you think? What? Think a lot of people stay over here or you think most of these apartments is uh empty? Empty. Think so? Okay. Thank you. 
putting them green apartments. Like I said, we're hitting up every neighborhood, every neighborhood. Let's go over here though. Let's try these out. I do this for my last name, gotta carry it, got back pain. Got the light to lead the way I'ma carry it like the man. Was really in that storm, I don't care if you wasn't. Probably ran in your store, taking everything like it's nothing. Really from the mud, I could tell you how it wasn't. I could tell you how it was. I could tell you we ain't had nothing. No, yeah, it was each other. Them niggas ain't my blood, but them niggas like my brother. P.I.C. the pit piles, I could never leave my brothers. As you know, it been a while, they didn't miss a couple summers. Broken put the pistol down, his mommy going under. He loaded 50 rounds, ready to bring the thunder. Ready to bring the thunder.